Surprise Comics. In this video, we're taking a look at a recent collection that I picked up and going over my whole process for processing a collection. I think that this video could be really helpful to uh, newer resellers that are still trying to figure out what's worth getting graded, what isn't worth getting graded, and it also might be helpful to collectors uh, just to help catalog their collection and get an idea of some things to think about when they go to sell their collection. But before we hop into it, we have two awesome giveaways this month, uh, two Detective 10 Cent Comics if you subscribe to the channel comment on this video and like this video you're entered to win one and if you head over to bryscomics.com and sign up for the newsletter you're entered to win another free slab that's also where i send out first notification of new inventory mystery boxes all kinds of awesome stuff over at bryscomics.com use code collect 10 for 10 percent off all in stock items that code is always active this collection was $14,000 collection. It was a mix of slabbed books and raw books. As you saw in the thumbnail, there were six huge boxes that this came in. And what it was, was short boxes, one short box in each one of those boxes with a whole bunch of padding around it. Um, it worked. It worked well. I've never seen I've never seen books shipped quite like this before, but it definitely worked. Um, and two of the boxes were slab books and four of the boxes were uh, raw books, so four short boxes of raw books. And what's interesting about that is it's really reasonable to ship even this many books across the country. I've had people send up to 19 boxes in one shipment um, all the way across the country. I think for the 19 box shipment, it was about $1,000. And I think I paid around $28,000 for that collection. So if it's worth it, if the value's there, um, shipping is usually not cost prohibitive. And I also have like, my own insurance policy that's separate from the shipping um, so I save money there and I have really good rates uh, for shipping so um, if you're interested in selling your collection or, or if you think about it down the road contact information in the description I'm always buying um, at really reasonable prices so with that said let's hop into these books so here we have the collection you guys it's this one two three four and a half short boxes and we're just going to go ahead and catalog this whole collection go through it and separate them uh, into stuff that's uh, worth getting pressed cleaned and graded uh, stuff for that'll go to whatnot and stuff that's either just a dollar bin or bulk it out or donate it you can you can always donate comic books and use that as a tax write-off um, and so one of the things to consider when you're thinking about grading is the tier which tier it's going to be in when you send it to CGC so CGC has the modern tier which is books valued four hundred dollars or less uh, from 1975 or older so this book is 19 1977 so this would be a modern book it's right on the cutoff and it makes a difference because once you go prior to 1975 uh, it goes to the either the economy tier the express tier or the walkthrough tier and the economy tier has like a one year turnaround time unless you use the fast track if you pay $15 extra for fast track on economy it's about a 20 day or two two or three week turnaround time which is really reasonable however if it's only like a hundred dollar book the economy tier price plus fast track is about $40. So the price value for economy fast track has to be uh, higher than the price value for modern. So um, it makes a difference and we'll go through that here in just a sec. But this book is worth grading in pretty much any grade. Star Wars number one. Uh, this looks to be like a find a very fine copy. Um, so that'll go to CGC because it's modern. It's only about 25 bucks to grade it. So for 25 bucks um, you know, you'll probably be able to get at least another hundred or two hundred bucks out of that rather than selling it raw. Um, here, this book also we will get graded, even though it's not a near mint copy. Um, it's a newsstand, and you know I'll probably get like forty or fifty bucks for it raw if I sold it raw, and probably like a hundred, hundred and fifty for it if I get it graded. Um, so the the price difference makes sense on this one to go ahead and get it graded. Same with this book, since it's a new stand, even though it's not a 9.8, um, it looks to be probably about a 9.2, 9.6 range. Uh, so that one's worth getting graded. This one, uh, George Perez, Wonder Woman number one, it's not worth getting graded because it's not a 9.8. So I'll send that one to whatnot. Wolverine number eight, this book uh, is definitely worth getting graded. It looks to be uh, in really good shape. So I'll go ahead and get that graded. Obviously this book in literally any grade, I, I guess maybe not like a 0.5, but 
almost every single grade amazing spider-man 300 definitely worth getting graded so i just realized i'm going to need another box called research so if a book if I'm unfamiliar with a book, I'll throw it in that research box, look it up, look at the values and see what it's worth. This is the J. Scott Campbell uh, edition of Amazing Spider-Man number four. That's worth getting graded. The first cameo appearance of Silk. So I'll go in CGC, Catwoman 44. Uh, I think this was a hot cover, but I don't think it's worth getting graded, especially with by the time it comes back from CGC, it probably wouldn't be hot anymore. So if it's like a flavor of the week type of thing in today's market, it's you might not be worth it in today's market to, to do the flavor of the week type of stuff. Still a really awesome cover, definitely has value. I'll bring that to Whatnot. Um, another awesome Catwoman cover, we'll bring it to Whatnot. Uh, super cool cover, I've never seen this one for Wolverine. I'm sure it's just a store exclusive or something, probably not worth getting graded. Um, so my cutoff for whether or not it's worth getting graded is probably around $75 in today's market. It used to be higher than that, but you know, times are tough. And so you gotta be kind of happier with slimmer margins these days. Um, but you know, cool covers that don't have key significance. You know, I think the best you can hope for usually is about 50 bucks. Obviously that definitely varies. There's a lot of factors, uh, but I think for something like this, it's probably around a 50 or $60 book. So when you add in the time and the cost of grading, it, it, you know, it's borderline, but I'll just go ahead and bring it to whatnot. Star Wars High Republic, uh, number one. This is the Clone Wars homage. These are super pricey books, so I'll go ahead and get those graded regardless of the grade. This is a, these are, oh wow, there's two of those. Well, that's awesome. Um, I think this is the Italian edition um, of something, so I'll throw those in the CGC box. At the end of the day, you know, even if I mess up on something like this, end up getting it graded and it's only worth like 30 or 40 bucks. I mean, how could you be upset with having a cover like that in a CGC 9.8 slab? Uh, this book uh, is not, it looks to be more like mid-grade, but I do believe it's still worth getting graded since it's modern. It's only going to be about 25 bucks to grade it. So um, I'll go ahead and throw that in CGC. Thor number one. <laughs> I don't even know if these are still worth grading. I haven't looked at prices. Last time I looked, it was pretty darn sad. So I'll check prices on this. If they're going for 75 bucks and they're 9.8 candidates, I'll go ahead and get those graded. So awesome to see these, the trifecta, Spider-Man number one, the silver, the gold, and the polybag regular edition, direct edition. This one is not a 9.8, so it's not worth grading. All three of these books are worth grading if they're 9.8s. These two look to be 9.8 candidates, so I'll throw those in the CGC box and the other one in the whatnot box. Uh, this one looks to be about a VF copy of Wolverine number one, so I don't believe this is worth getting graded. I'll throw this in the whatnot box. Same with this one. I think this book's really only worth it in like 9.6, 9.8. This looks to be more uh, in the VF near mint range. Uh, this one, I see a spine tick on it right here. So um, it would probably be worth getting graded if it was a 9.8, but that looks to be 9.6 or, or lower. Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, number one. I'm not familiar with this book, but I highly doubt it's worth getting graded. Awesome book, but I'll put that in the whatnot. First, Sam Wilson's Captain America. This is worth it in a 9.8 in today's market, but anything less than that is not, so I'll put it in CGC. Good Lord, look at that House of X, number one. It uh, looks like it might be Shannon Mayer. Yep, Shannon Mayer cover for House of X. Uh, Marauders by uh, Mike Mayhew. Another Marauders. Uh, a Virgin Edition. So I'm going to throw all of these in the whatnot box. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic number 31. I know there's some keys in, this, in these Dark Horse Star Wars books. Um, so I'll go ahead and put all of these uh, Dark Horse Star Wars books in the research box. Um, I'm sure some of them are worth grading, and if not, uh, we'll just go ahead and bring them to whatnot. Some really awesome covers for these Dark Horse Star Wars books. Star Wars Dark Empire 1 through 6. Star Wars Dr. Aphra's uh, first solo series for Dr. Aphra. Definitely worth getting graded in a 9.8, so I'll put that in the CGC box. So I'll pre-screen everything in the CGC box. Uh, Power Girl number 27. This might be worth it in a 9.6. This one's definitely not a 9.8. I see a couple of spine ticks. Uh, so I'll look up the values on this. I'll put it in the CGC box for now. Super Girl uh, number 401. I highly doubt that's worth getting graded in, 
in that condition, so I'll put it in whatnot. This one's uh, worth getting graded in a 9.8, and this one has a shot at a 9.8, so I'll put it in the CGC box. Amazing Spider-Man number one, variant edition. I think this might be an incentive. I'll put this in the research box. I think that might be spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, this, this actually would probably be worth getting graded if it's a 9.8, but these books are hard to come by at 9.8. I mean, you'll see them all the time in collections. Uh, it's not out of the question, but it's definitely rare. This one's not a 9.8. I see just a couple things that would hold it back from that. So it's definitely in the near mint range. I'll put that in the whatnot. Amazing Spider-Man, I don't recognize that. This one, I believe, is a Del Auto incentive. I'll put that in the research box. Deadpool Max, number five. It's not a 9.8, I'll bring, put it, bring it in the whatnot box. All New Wolverine, number one. I think this book is worth getting graded in a 9.8, so I'll put that in the graded box. This looks to be a pretty high grade copy of this. Possibly worth getting graded, depending on the values. I'll have to look up the values. I'll bring these Alpha Flights and New Mutants 100 to whatnot. Web of Spider-Man number one newsstand. Uh, this one's not uh, a 9.8, so I don't believe that's worth getting graded. This one, uh, definitely worth getting graded, even if it's like a 9.0, um, and it's a newsstand edition, so that one's definitely worth it. Uh, Punisher series here. These are worth it in 9.8s, but these are more in the VF range. So I won't do that. This is the one in 25 for Mighty Valkyries number one, uh, but I highly doubt that's worth it. Um, plus a bunch of black hat covers here. There might be some cool ones, but it looks like just some really awesome black hat covers. I'll go ahead and bring all of these to whatnot and probably do you know, a set or something, a black cat set. Break it up into sets. Some more black cat books. Ooh, nice Peach Momoko black cat. Collector was definitely into J. Scott Campbell and black hat covers and things like that. Really, really nice taste if you ask me. Marvel Comics Spider-Man and the black hat number one. Uh, this one might be a research book. That might be worth getting graded. Uh, look at that cover. I've never seen this cover. Uh, it looks to be from around the 2000s, so I'll put that in the research box. And there's issue number two for it. Some awesome covers on these. There's issue number three. Issue number four. Issue number five. Sweet, we got the whole set for this little run right here. I'll put that in the research box. Some awesome ASM covers. Put these in whatnot. Ghost Rider number one in a newsstand. This classic text cover. I think this definitely would be worth it in a 9.8 to get graded. Uh, we might be able to salvage a 9.8 out of that. We'll put it in. CGC maybe really cool black hat cover there trade and virgin sets so all these black hat ones there she is just bathing in a bathtub full of milk you know um, I'll bring these to whatnot I'm sure there's some good ones in there um, but that would, this this would make like just a cool whatnot show you know to have sexy lady covers type of thing this one is punchline number one uh, limited to a thousand uh, covers C and D Harley punchline super awesome little set there bring those to whatnot young blood number three this is some kind of combo pack uh, whatnot for that this one's definitely worth getting grading in high gray this looks to be more of a fine oh wait I'm sorry this is issue number 12 I'm not sure if this one's worth getting graded and it's definitely not in the near mint range um, Marvel Knights the Punisher that's a cool cover. Violent content. Now this is a crazy series that I have never seen. X-Force, Sex and Violence from Marvel. I've never seen that. Some killer uh, Gabriel Del Otto covers, so I definitely want to research those. Some more just awesome Gabriel Del Ottos for this. Sex and Violence. Secret Empire. Uh, awesome X-Men variant by Ji Hyung Lee, Return of Wolverine, those will all go to whatnot. Some older X-Men, Bitch Planet number five. Um, so stuff like Bitch Planet number five will go in the dollar bin. 
this Hulk number nine will go in the dollar bin. Here's one signed. I can see that there's a signature on it. Not sure if there's a COA. I'll put that in whatnot. Frontline number 11. Put these, the Carmen's number one, two, three, four, and five. All of that will go in the dollar bin. All right, so some free books. Those will go in the dollar bin. Uh, Lady Pendragon, uh, Rob Liefeld, Maximum Press, number one. I have never seen this before. Um, so I'll definitely research these. This one has a tag that says eBay 10 bucks, eBay 20 bucks. So that might be worth looking into. All right, so an awesome set of Star Wars covers here. I doubt these are worth getting graded. I'll put those in the whatnot. So these look like some really interesting Star Wars books. I'll have to look into these more. They're kind of a unique size, um, but it's always worth it to check out and look into the Star Wars keys. You never know which ones are super rare and expensive, which does happen. Secret Wars Empire number nine looks like a Mark Brooks cover. So I'll go ahead and look these up. Master of Kung Fu number 31. That'll just go in the dollar bin. Some more um, Star Wars. Star Wars comic was one of only 300 copies uh, created exclusively for uh, Parallel Evren Istanbul. Whoa, so these might be some foreign books, I guess. I'll check those out. So now we're getting into some X-Men stuff. Here's X-Men 16, 12 cents. It looks to be, you know, around the five or the six range. And this is where it gets tricky on whether or not it's worth it to grade it. So, um, you know, it's about 40 bucks to get this graded fast track because I, I just wouldn't even want to submit it if I'm going to have to wait a year to get them back. Um, so uh, this one, I do believe, is worth it to get it graded uh, along with this one. Uh, number 56 in low grade like this probably not worth it so this is probably around like a, a four grade same with this and these will make nice little x-men runs on whatnot so i'll go ahead and bring those to whatnot um, along with these x-men books this one's definitely worth getting graded in like a 9.8 but this one's not a 9.8 i doubt any of these will be nine eight so we'll go ahead and bring all of these to whatnot and do like a um first iliana as an adult do like an x-men show 164 newsstand that's a good one but not high enough grade to get graded so we'll have an awesome x-men show first forge direct and newsstand Some more X-Men here. So these are all going to be going to whatnot. This one's worth grading in a 9.8, but that's not a 9.8. Actually, I think, yeah, like I said, all of these are worth grading in a 9.8. But I don't think any of these are going to make the cut. So continuing with the X-Men. First Jubilee, that's worth it in like, it's definitely not worth grading. Uh, first Gambit, that one will be worth grading in most grades. And this one's a newsstand. Uh, so this one's probably worth getting graded because it's a newsstand. Um, we'll go ahead and bring the rest of these to whatnot. All right, so let's go over these books that are gonna go to CGC again real quick. Some awesome, awesome books. So exciting to get submission like this back from CGC with a bunch of different stuff and to see what hit the mark. And And probably some more stuff in the research bin as well. 
So there you have it guys. I hope that this video is helpful to someone out there. Uh, it's certainly a lot of time to create these. I know these videos don't do as well, but I wanted to put it out there uh, because I think it will be helpful uh, to some people. If it was, please consider hitting that subscribe button, comment, like this video, and you're entered to win a free slab. And head over to BriceComics.com and sign up for the newsletter to be entered to win another free slab each and every month. Thank you as always for sticking with me to the end of the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bryce Comics.